Hey folks, haven't seen you in about, <clears throat> I don't know, a week or 10 days or so. Been busy this time of year. Gotta tell you, it's been absolutely beautiful in the mid 70s for the last couple days. And I've taken it upon myself uh, Saturday and Sunday and then Labor Day week two weeks ago. I've been out fishing, I've been out crabbing, loving the Chesapeake Bay of Maryland. But we're back here checking in on the garden, so let's get to it. All right, back at the garden. I guess it was about a week and a half ago now. Today's Wednesday, yeah. So a week and a half ago, I transplanted these um, cabbage, the kale, Swiss chard, and the broccoli. More Swiss chard, <clears throat> more cabbage. If you see down there, close to the ground, Little carrots are starting to pop up. I have sugar snaps. I'll be honest with you, I came by, what was it, last Saturday? And I hadn't watered in a couple days. <clears throat> we didn't have any rain. <laughs> I was busy fishing, but I'll tell you, as you see, the ground is nice and moist here. Just over the overnight last night, we had just under an inch. So pretty good really low uh steady rain you know really what i guess you would call deep a uh, deep soaking rain which is wonderful because the ground is saturated and it's going to just drain off and help feed these plants but we still have whole bunches of jalapenos more jalapenos those thai chilies are still doing well <coughs> so i'm on the other side Something insect or something has been messing with the cabbage just a little bit. Haven't sprayed anything yet. I just want to see if that was just because they were nice, freshly transplanted that they, you know, attacked them initially. Well, I guess if you look back here, this is a little bit more severe. But the one next to it and the one next to it don't really seem to have been affected. So there could be... I'm not seeing a cabbage worm. Doesn't mean they're not out here, but it's possible. And then back along here, I still left these last few Better Boy tomatoes up. More Swiss chard, more broccoli. Still have an eggplant growing right here. And a more Swiss chard across the back. Kind of funny, but in these pots, <coughs> if you remember back midsummer, we had garlic in here. We actually have a renegade tomato in this one. And we have two renegade tomatoes in that one. It's pretty late in the season. I mean, it's September 18th now. So, you know, we're definitely getting towards the end of the season or at least the end of potential for tomatoes to come in. But I think I see a, a victim of one of these eggplants right here. Dang, squirrels. It wasn't even ripe yet, and that's why he probably chewed it a little bit, spit it back out, and then dropped it on the ground. Whatever. You know, it's the end of the season. You can see the squashes. Powdery mildew has pretty much taken that over. I'm going to go ahead and rip those out. But the green peppers, if you see, are still coming in quite strong, even on this one. Oh, there is a squash bug on... Yep, I tried to hit them off and squish them, but yep, let me see. He's running. Boom, got him. Goodbye, squash bug. I know you were in here attacking the last little bit of squash, but sent you home to your maker. Uh, we still have butternut. You see all these. They're not big. This is one of the community beds. Butternut squash. Did quite well, and these tips almost ready. I mean, they're almost they're almost to that dehydrated stage where they'll just pop right off. 
probably by this weekend those will be good to go and do some squash butternut squash dishes with those walking around this other community bed has definitely seen better days when it comes to the weed growth but i think the squirrels there were three eggplant on this one just the other day and i haven't been here as i said in about five days i bet you the squirrels got those eggplant too because there were four of them there was one sitting on the wall here well i can't really tell if this is eggplant or not but something was definitely chewing there and as you see our friend right here tomato squirrel was chewing on so yeah if i saw that I saw that one as you just saw in the back. Squirrels might have gotten those other three eggplant. It's possible. I know I can tell when I get over to one of my other smaller beds. I know there was an eggplant coming in just the other day <clears throat> that would be ready by now. So that's about it for the community stuff. You remember I did the collards, the arugula, and what was it collards arugula and cabbage back here it's doing okay i mean yes there's definitely insect damage i'm fine with that because they're just not maturing because as you know with this this shade it's really only getting sun until about 11 o'clock in the morning and this time of year the sun's coming up at 6 30 or 7 so it's only getting like five hours of sunlight, which I just don't think, so. you know, yes, it's a, a cold crop. It can handle the lower temperatures, but it still needs that sunlight. So I'm going to see about this bed. I mean, I amended it, as you know, a couple videos back. Got some really rich soil, some leaf grow and other stuff in here. Not sure what's going to be best back here. So actually comment down below. Think about five hours of sunlight, direct sunlight, I should say. It still gets the radiant sunlight throughout the year, you know, throughout every day. It's not getting enough direct, I think, because they're not that much bigger than when I transplanted them. They grew initially, and now they're kind of stunted. So, I don't know. We'll see. So, let's check out this other bed that we did. Oh, yeah. I forgot. The bed with 1,700 seeds in it. Now... These sugar snaps look awesome. To be only in the ground, I guess, three weeks now, maybe four. These are looking extremely, extremely good. Something's been digging around in here. Probably squirrels trying to bury stuff. But we have a bunch of different radishes, uh, lettuces. I think there's cabbage right there. But, you know, it's not as nice and neat as it looked when we first germinated and everything came up. But, you know, we'll see. And my eye just spotted something right over here. Remember I was just talking about the eggplant? Well, what do we have right there? Another eggplant. Ripped off the plant, chewed on it, realized it wasn't ripe, and then just left it. So, unfortunately, I just, you know, started spending some personal time fishing and crabbing and being out on the water. And I just neglected to come here for about a week and a half other than that one last, was it last Saturday, like five days ago, just to water quickly because it was so dry. But if we check, now I know 100% certain in this bed right here, okay, there is still an eggplant on it. So this netting is definitely helping to some degree. So that eggplant is good to go I think it's about six or seven inches that's right ripe for picking still tomatoes coming in on this bed not like they were of course but a lot of green tomatoes that are outside of the netting um, I'm gonna pick a bunch of stuff before we finish this video and kind of give you an idea of just what was able to be picked and why just because I see that the squirrels are starting to move back in or haven't really left they're just continuing to try to dominate the, the crops that don't come to full fruit on the vine they're getting to them before we are because we're waiting too long to pick trying to wait until they're ripe so i'll do that and show you guys but last but not least you remember this bed 
where we're hoping to do the garlic in the middle uh, back in probably third or, four, third or fourth week of October. Collards are looking wonderful. I actually need to pick some of those today. The radishes that I planted underneath there using that jig, you guys saw a couple videos ago. It just didn't work because there's there's such small footprint right here. Radishes aren't getting enough sunlight, so they're bolting and they're getting real long and stringy. So I don't think it's going to work out for them. Um, you know, but it is what it is. And then we have at least six feet by four feet for garlic. We're going to be doing more over there. And if you guys see my nemesis over along the wall there, see him? Right along the wall, climbing into the bed, probably going for, there might be a couple tomatoes in there. But that's what we're dealing with is the squirrels now. And then along the back here, you remember I did sugar snaps that I transplanted in. I had germinated and then transplanted directly. They're doing so-so, but I think it's also because of all of this shade right above it. It's only getting that early morning sunlight. But, you know... We're trial and error. That's that's gardening. That's farming. You know, we just try things out. We look at the proximity of daylight and how many sun hours and whatnot and try to make our best decision from that. It really should just pop right off. So it's pretty close, probably in the next couple of days. But I'll go ahead and jump on, pick some stuff, show you what I was able to harvest today. It is the 18th of September pretty late in the season for a lot of stuff tomatoes are still around but the squirrels are beating us to it and actually if you look right here squirrels beat us to a watermelon but that's fine watermelon didn't do all that great if you like the content or find this information valuable it would be a great honor if you guys would hit that thumbs up button like the content subscribe to the channel if you want you'll get notified every time I or we upload new videos but as you see the garden is looking quite well after all the weeding that I did and I got all of those dilapidated tomatoes and other uh, eggplant peppers and some other things out of here all this new fall stuff is looking quite good so I'm excited because I have a lot more that's already germinated that I'm gonna need to get over here clear out the rest of these tomato vines and a lot of those weeds and get some good fall crops in here so that we'll be able to harvest some fresh, fresh veggies throughout the fall and winter. All right, so I just finished picking one tray. Got some butternut squash, cherry tomatoes, some better boys that are starting to blush, but because of the squirrels, I go, go ahead and pick them now. Some very, very nice green peppers, nice big purple eggplant, some white eggplant, and then I have another tray just like this, full of a mix of red and green tomatoes. So that's it for this video, guys. I will see you on the next one.